Greetings to all of you, a big hug wherever you are. Today we will talk about why are there dogs with raised ears and dogs with lop ears? If there is an animal species with more physiognomic differences, it is the dog. There are very small, huge, hairy, hairless, flat, with a long snout, with a long or curved tail, and with drooping or erect ears and of very different sizes. Have you ever wondered why this happens? It is very common to see dogs with different ears but this was not always the case. Over the centuries, the races have gone through changes and domestication processes and this has caused changes in their bodies as well as in their ears. Wild dogs always had them upright, but domestic dogs or those at home did not. 1. Science and the Ears of Dogs In 2014, a study was carried out that determined that the cells of the neural crest of dogs were affected over the years and with the care given at home. This study was on animal genetics. The results showed that these dogs have a slight deficiency in the neuronal crest and this prevented the cartilaginous tissues that are in the ears from developing well. For this reason, some dogs have their ears straight and others do not. Simply put, the cartilage in the dog's ear is relaxed, their fur changed to a lighter color, and other changes. Undoubtedly, an evolution was noted in the races that coexisted with man. Charles Darwin with his text entitled The Origin of Species, stated that drooping ears could be due to lack of use of muscles. Being house dogs, they were little alarmed so they did not need to prick their ears frequently. These lop-eared dogs are associated with the domestication syndrome. Isn't it interesting? 2. Dog breeds with prick ears. The vast majority of dog breeds do not lift their ears. Due to their genetics, they keep them bent, or by the same weight. However, there are some breeds that do keep them upright at all times. These breeds lift their ears as puppies and stay that way forever. Some of those breeds with erect ears are. German Shepherd, Podenkos, Border Collie, Yorkshire, Husky. 2. Dog Breeds with Lop Ears Lop eared dogs are usually loving and very loyal breeds. Perfect breeds for homes and the whole family. Some of these lop eared dog breeds are Cocker Spaniel, Golden Retriever, Beagle. 3. Is it important for a dog to lift its ears? If it is a breed that must have them upright like the ones mentioned above, it is important that they lift them, and there is a time for this to happen. Although, if they do not lift them, it may be that they require some kind of help or it could mean that they have a health problem. 4. Some causes of the dog not lifting its ears. Even if they are dogs of the same breed, not all will lift their ears at the same time. Everyone has their own time to do it, however, if the dog has exceeded 6 or 8 months, it is time to evaluate what happens with a veterinarian. If this time has not passed yet, there is still time for you to lift your ears. When dogs do not lift their ears there is no need to worry or be alarmed so soon. Each dog has its own time and it is only a matter of waiting a few months. It may happen that at first they lift only one ear and the other takes a little longer. 5. Some care that dogs need in their ears. Having a dog must be cared for and protected in every way. The ears are and should be a part of the body that requires good care especially if the ears are drooping since they harbor moisture and with it the proliferation of bacteria. To avoid any disease, it is important to check the dog's ears constantly. It is advisable to review them once a month to detect any anomalies in time. Knowing the dog and his behavior is one of the most important factors in recognizing that the dog has a problem. If his ears are not right, he will undoubtedly find a way to manifest it by scratching his ears. Also, if someone touches your ears they may feel pain. Therefore, if his behavior is different, do not forget to check his ears. With a clean and damp cloth it is advisable to clean your ears on the outside. This is how they stay clean. In these cases, it is better to use warm water. With a new and completely dry gauze you can clean the inside of your ears. It is important that cleaning is careful and very superficial. The ear is very delicate. When returning home after a long walk in the park, mountain or city, the ears should be checked in case they have moisture, a foreign body such as a spike or dirt. After bathing them it is important to dry their ears well to avoid humidity. Note: Some dog owners have recommended the use of vinegar or alcohol, but this could cause irritation to the ears instead of helping. Yes you could use hydrogen peroxide with a little water, but in very little quantity. The dose cannot be exceeded. Therefore, it is best to use lukewarm water or follow the instructions of the veterinarian before using any product that could harm the dog. Is your dog sick or has behavioral problems, and the experts you have consulted do not give you effective solutions to help him improve? Click the link below, and get the help you are looking for. Don't stop subscribing to the channel, commenting, and sharing the video, thank you.